what's up y'all welcome back to my channel it's your girl b another day another video y'all and uh oh i sounded so country <laughs> but um for today's video oh lord oh boy hold on y'all because i'm itching well like i got like pieces of hair just like tickling my face and so like it's making me like itch oh sorry y'all but anyway I bet if y'all new to my channel, y'all probably like, what the hell is wrong with this girl? But, hey, I'm just me, y'all. Like it or love it. But, if y'all can't tell from the title down below, today's video is going to be a little story time video about when I used to work at this warehouse. I ain't going to say what, I ain't going to, like, specifically say the name of the warehouse. But, um, I used to work at this warehouse and, um... You know, I was dealing with some old hag, and I'm, you know, and I'm not a disrespectful person. I don't disrespect um, older people, younger people. I respect everybody who respect me. But this lady literally was an old hag. Like I said, like she was so weird. Like from the moment she first met me, she was looking at me crazy, like just being like slick, rude. And you know, you can feel like that vibe, you can feel that energy. But anyway, before we get farther into this video, y'all, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Follow me on all social medias. We finna get straight into this video. We finna go ahead and get into... Oh, Lord, why do my boobs look like that? I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just being all types of ratchet. But anyway, okay, so um, I used to work... Okay, basically, I used to work at this warehouse, and um, the job was real easy. And for the most part, I liked the job. It was just the people there. They were so freaking messy. Even though I know like everywhere you go, um, well, not everywhere you go, but you know, half the places um, gonna have like messy people. But, um, um, but that's not the reason why I, you know, left the job. Because first of all, one thing about me, I don't care how small I am. Well, I know I look big on camera, but I'm like, you know, kind of short in real life. And, you know, I got like this little kitty voice. And so I guess people feel like they can play with me and they feel like, you know, she just, you know, we could treat her any type of way. Talk to her any type of way. <laughs> no, you got me all the way fucked up. I'm a nice, respectful person, but if you think you gon', you know, fuck with me, you got another thing coming. Because one thing about me is I'm a strong person. Um, some days I have, you know, my, you know, days where I just, you know, feel defeated. But for the most part, I get back up. I would like to consider myself as a strong person. So, uh, with that being said, I didn't, uh, lead a job because somebody picking with me. No. If anything, you get your way a whoop and then I get fired like that. But, you know, you know, I ain't just like, oh, somebody picking with me. I don't want to work here no more. No, that's not me. But anyway, so, okay, so we just gonna start with the first day. It's, if y'all, since, I ain't gonna say y'all think I'm lying, but if y'all think I'm lying, I'm not playing. This lady was real deal, like, picking with me, and I'm finna tell y'all the what she did on the first day. Like, literally, my first two weeks was hell because of her. I hate I was on her team. But anyway, okay, so I used to work at this uh, warehouse, and we used to be divided into teams. So it would be like team A, B, C, D, however many tables there was in our area, because the building was really big, like real big. And so, um, like, you, we was in the back, and so we had, like, a certain amount of tables in our area, and, you know, we, ju we were just putting stuff in boxes, folding up the boxes. Um, it was real easy. And so, um... Like I said, we was in teams, and my first day, um, she was already at the table with her team already. And um, I never forget it. The one of the girls at the table was trying to show me how to, you know, do everything, cause I'm new. I, I didn't know what I was doing. And um, the the very first thing that kind of like, kind of threw me off about the lady who I'm talking about. We're just gonna call her Evil Lynn. That's what we're gonna call her, Evil Lynn. So, um, the, the very first thing that kind of, like, made me look at Evil Lynn some type of way was because, um, like, like I said, I had just got there and then one of the other girls at the table was trying to show me, you know, how to do the, uh, you know, stuff correct. And, um, she gonna tell me, um, just get on this side, just go over there. Um, now this is what Evil Lynn said, not the girl who was, you know, try, trying to show me how to do the stuff. This is what Evil Lynn said. And she was like, uh, girl, just get over there. Get on that side. And I'm looking like, okay, 
you know and so i just got on the other side did what she asked me to do well basically told me to do what she told me to do i shouldn't have did nothing i was playing but um so i got on the other side i was doing my work or whatever then the um supervisor came to our table and told me to go uh told me um evil land and one other girl to go to another team <sighs> every time i film y'all i get sleepy i think it's just like i be really sleepy okay but anyway um and so they told us to go to um another table and um and so i was working uh like at the front because like it's a big long table and you just doing different stuff on the table like you you putting stuff in boxes like i said uh, or you may be folding boxes or you might be blowing something up um so i was in the front like folding the boxes um putting the uh putting different items in the box folding it up and you know you just pass it to the back and um the evil land she gonna come to me and she gonna say um you just go to the back i got this now this is the second time that she moved me now and one day did, did she say this this is the second time that she was like you know i got this like kind of like sh like showing me away you know what i mean and so um i like i did like i said um like i did once before when she told me to get in a spot i just got looked at her crazy in my head well i ain't just like look she ain't see me look at look at her crazy but i was looking at her crazy and i just did what she uh asked and walked to the back and so um uh and then when i was uh walking to the back of the uh table because uh so basically we blow up like different balls and stuff like that like we sell like soccer balls well well not we i don't work that no more but like they used to sell soccer balls baseballs dip footballs different type of balls so i was in the back of the table and you know it had an air pump and like this cage thing i had to like blow the balls up throw it in a cage and then they put the balls in a box and you know uh uh, fold them up and put them on the pallet so while i was walking to the back of the uh to the back of the table trying to blow the balls up like she asked me to she gonna say because uh and then she gonna say uh and now this is now this is how i know like she must have been on some i don't know what the fuck was wrong with her because literally she had just told me to go to the back i hadn't even started working two minutes yet then i heard her tell somebody let me go back here and help this girl because lord knows and then i'm like what the fuck like so that's like strike three because the first time like i said she moved me um told me to get basically told me to get out the way when i had just got to her team then when the supervisor told us to go to another table she moved me out the way and then i heard her saying this so i'm like okay let me just because i'm not the type of person i don't pop off over any little thing i'm the type of because and the reason why i don't pop off over any little thing because i feel like uh, it's either you go big or, or you go home. Either you gonna take it there, and when you take it there, you can't take it back, or just leave it, just leave it alone. Like, it really take a lot for me to, um, pop off, and I guess because of that, people think that I'm scary or weak or whatever, but, baby, I have been working out, and then I didn't gain weight, so try me. I bet you I'll give somebody this work. But anyway, um, you know, I don't like, I, people be like, you don't like fighting, you not a problem, per a problematic person, and I'm not. But what I don't, and what I don't tolerate is disrespect, and, you know, I'm not gonna keep on, you know, dealing with that for too, too long, you know what I mean? So, um, and then, uh, so, basically, this day, um, we was, like, short staff. And so, um, the supervisor came to the table again, and she, but this time, she moved only me, because she asked me to go help the table behind us. And then when I went to the next table, I was like, yes, ma'am. And then I went to the next table. Evil Lynn, uh, gonna say, um, now, like I said, this not her real name, but honestly, I ain't even know. Oh, I think I do remember her name. And that's so sad because she had a pretty name, but she was not being nice. And she wasn't, never mind. But, um, so, um, when I went to the other table, so, you know, I pretty much kind of like caught the hang of things and I knew what I was doing. So I'm just, I'm at the next table, I'm working, minding my business, not saying nothing to nobody now. And, um, Evil Lynn, she gonna come over there and she gonna say, oh, y'all got her on y'all team now. 
And then I'm like, like literally, nah, like I said, I didn't know this woman, barely talked to this woman. I don't know what the fuck was wrong with her. Like, it was like she being like catty towards me for no reason. Like, y'all, well, I'm, I'm so serious. I promise you I didn't do nothing to her. I promise you. And so, um, and so I, and I didn't say nothing then. I'm just like, I just like look. And, um, and so basically now the next day, um, I was back on her team and it was like, she kept moving me. Like, like I said, we at one table and different people on the table got different tasks to complete. And she kept moving me as if I couldn't complete my task when, baby, I'm moving faster than your old ugly raggedy ass. And I'm sorry, but it's, it's the truth. She wanted to be rude to me and you know, this, this how I felt about her. And I'm moving faster than you. And you and she kept on just like moving me like as if I can't do the work. You know what I mean? Like I was one of the few new people who was doing good. You know what I mean? And so um, it was just like different stuff. And then like uh, I, I guess one of the other girls who was on our team, she best friends with her. And like now nah, literally I would hear this lady basically talking about me and this other new girl. But you know how like... You know, for one, I can feel her energy and, you know, how she was having bad vibes and mean vibes towards me. But two, uh, have you ever, have y'all ever been, um, kind of like close to somebody and you can hear them talking about you, but at the same time, they didn't say your name, but the stuff that they talking about, you know, is, you know, got something to do with you. You know what I mean? And, um, like I just wrote, so basically she was right beside me. We at, we at the same damn table. We on the same team. So of course I'm a hero, but I didn't hear everything she was saying to the other girl. I, I, I like, I only heard bits and pieces and, um, uh, I heard her say, and fuck her too. And cause, um, uh, she was saying, cause I heard one girl, um, the, the girl who evil Lynn, the one who I said was evil Lynn best friend. Um, well basically, okay, let me rewind okay so i was um folding boxes or whatever and then like i got tired of folding them boxes so i just asked one of the girls like if i could switch with with her you know and start blowing up the balloons because i feel like everybody shouldn't just be doing one job i feel like especially if a job is kind of like tiring especially getting uh uh like cuts from boxes and fingers cramping like real deal i thought my fingers was gonna be stuck like this for real but um so i just asked the girl uh which was evil and best friend i asked her if i could switch with her because i'm like man my fingers hurt i keep getting cut like you know like ain't nothing wrong with just like switching you know what i mean i'm not saying i want to stay you know get your spot all day but you know like i work here for a few hours you know especially if different things difficult for different people what's wrong with switching teamwork make the motherfucking dream work right and um excuse my language oh you know what i'm i need to stop cussing even though i can't help it it's just me because this one person coming and i know this totally off uh topic but um this one person gonna come in and he gonna say uh well you can tell he just was ignorant and racist and then he gonna say with a filthy mouth you black people basically the same first of all i know a lot of white people mexican people asian people dominican people who cuss everybody cuss don't play with me um but yet still very intelligent the fool <laughs> but um anyway so i just had like a little flashback but um so what was i oh oh okay so i asked the uh can i switch now um the girl said yeah now um now we had already switched and i guess evil lynn didn't hear me didn't think that i heard them but i heard the, uh evil lynn and her best friend talking and uh, this after me and um uh me and a girl had switched um, and she was like, uh, yeah, cause the girl was like, um, yeah, I switched with her, um, because, you know, she just said that she wanted to switch. And then, um, and then I heard Eva Lynn say something and then she was like, uh, uh, I don't know what she said before, like, she was just saying like different, like, I could barely hear what she was saying, but I heard her say she don't do nothing anyway. And then, um, and then that's when one of the other girls, and she was also new, uh, on our team. And, um, Eva Lynn was like, I, they looked at her, looked at the new girl, the other new girl on our team, and she was like, and fuck her too. Now, I'm not doing that. For one, I just heard you say, now, like I said, I'm hearing bits and pieces of the conversation, but you know they, you know, but I knew they was talking about me. 
And so, I, and like, you know, that's another reason why I really didn't say nothing. Because, you know, I'm only hearing bits and pieces. I couldn't hear the full thing. So, I don't want to just pop off. And, you know, what if they wasn't talking about me? But even though I know they was, like, my instant telling me, baby, they is. Um, so, I didn't say nothing. And, um, and uh, the fact that, so, I didn't hear her say specifically, fuck Brenda. But the fact that it's only four people on this team. It's me, the other new girl, Evelyn, and Evelyn, best friend. And they had been there. They, they wasn't new. And so, you, and you talking to, you talking to Evelyn, talking to her best friend. And then, like, she look at uh, the other new girl and say, fuck her, too. As in T O O. So, so if she the second person you saying for, who was the first person you were saying for? Had to been me. You see what I'm saying? Now she better be lucky. I'm not like my friend. Cause one of my best friends, um, everybody got the mean best friend. Everybody, especially if you if you in a friend group and it's like more than two of y'all, everybody got like that mean best friend. Or hell, if you might even be the mean best friend, or it might just be two of y'all. And but anyway. Everybody got a mean best friend. So it, she better be lucky that I wasn't my best friend because my best friend would have cussed up, cu would have cussed both they ass out. But like I said, I'm not the type of person to like, you know, uh, pop off real quick. And people mistake me from, cause I'm quiet or I don't say much. Or even if, if I hear somebody say something, I don't really say nothing. Like I said, they mistake that as I'm scared, but but I'm not scared because I'm actually a little off in the head. Because you want to know what I was planning on? Like, even though I didn't say nothing to her, do y'all want to know what I was thinking? In my well, actually, I can't tell y'all because I ain't trying to go to jail. But I was thinking I was getting prepared for war for both they ass. I was going to whoop both they ass. And it wasn't going to be with my hands either. So, like, if I get quiet, oh, I'm preparing. I'm preparing. Best believe that. So, she was talking about me um, uh, right there. And then, um, and then I remember, like, it was just constant, like, different things. She would, and then, like, um, like, it was, like, even with the other new girl, it was, like, uh, the new girl who, you remember who I said she was, like, fuck her too? The, um, the new girl on our team was doing worse than me. She was lazier. She was, I wasn't even late. When I went to work, and when I still do go to work, I'm always working. Like, when I do, when I work, I work. When I don't work, I'm I'm hiding somewhere in the bathroom somewhere. But you know, you know, I was working and you know, moving fast, not messing up. And the other new girl, she messing up, moving slow, going to the bathroom 30 minutes. But it seemed like she even liked the new girl more than me. And I'm like, what is going on? I didn't say nothing to this woman out the uh, way. Um, I didn't do nothing to her. I'm not one of those new people who catch on slow. Well, I might catch on a little slow, but once I catch on, you know, I was doing the work well and quickly and efficiently. And you know, you know, baby, I don't know what the fuck was wrong with her. But my, I remember my last day. I remember I cussed her out so motherfucking good. And I'm sorry because so now I had went like two weeks dealing with little, little catty patty shit. You know what I mean? And one, and mind you, this woman looked it like she was at least about 40, 44, like 43, 44. You know what I mean? And like. It's like, why is your old ass fucking picking with me? And 44 is not old, but I'm calling her old because, you know, if you want to, uh, because she would be rude to me. So, you know, she an old bitch. This, this just is what it is. Now, like I said, I feel like, well, I feel like if you, like, like I said, 44 is not old, but I just feel, I also feel like if you take care of yourself and you eating healthy, trying to work out, trying to look good, baby, you could be 75 and I don't think that's old, especially if you take care of yourself. I feel like old is a mindset rather than age, but with this bitch, I'm calling her an old hag because she just was the fuck and she ain't even look good anyway. But anyway, let me let me stop. I'm getting mad. I'm getting mad. I'm starting to act childish. But um, yeah. So two weeks, I had to deal with just different stuff. Like uh, she always say like, and then what? Oh my god, she even tried to get me in trouble with my um supervisor. Um, like literally, I I wasn't doing nothing to her. But I remember seeing her. She just walked off one time, and she went to the uh to my supervisor, and my supervisor looked dead at me. Both of them looked dead at me, and I'm like, what the fuck did she just go say? And I know she had to been saying some. 
and and it was just so much and then she even tried to get um you know the new girl the other new girl who was on our team she even quit because evil lynn damn near got her fired because like i said the new girl was lazy going to the bathroom and stuff like that but evil lynn snitched on her well first uh she was planning on like getting her switched into a, a different team they were just like plotting on her i didn't like that and they was talking about her and i knew they were talking about me it was just too much and it was for no reason so the last day uh of me working there um now before it was my last day eva evelyn she didn't um come to work for like uh two days so she came back to work and it was on a friday she was gone wednesday and thursday she came back friday and she came back with the shit when i say those two days out of my first two weeks working there was so lovely it was like freaking like it was just lovely like I felt like I was smelling roses every day. I was just so happy that she won her. So she came back on Friday. I'm like, oh, this bitch. I ain't even gonna lie. And so she came back. And like I said, uh, after being missing for two days, she already came back with the shit. Um, because I never forget it. Um, like I said, she was on we was all on the same team, but when she had, you know, was missing for two days, we kinda like replaced her. We ain't had no choice to supervise her, did it? Um, so um, I had went to our table, like the regular table or whatever, and, um, well, actually, no, that's not what happened. The first day, we just replaced her. The second day that she was missing, uh, the supervisor replaced, like, just split up the whole team. And so, when she came back Friday, uh, the, the supervisor had, uh, said, like, everybody just go to the teams that you were on yesterday, which was Thursday, and, it, and my job, I said, Thursday is when they split the whole team up. So, um, you know, I really didn't, act, cause I heard her best friend saying, I ain't going back with that team, we finna get our team back. And so, and, but, but the supervisor had just said, go back to the team she was on yesterday. So I was kind of, I ain't know what to do. Should I go back to this table or go, with, I ain't know what I should do. And so, um, I was like, you know what, you know what, I'm just gonna listen to the supervisor, I ain't, and then, you know, they, you know, messy anyway, so I don't, I'm not even gonna just go with them, so I don't even know why I was trying to debate that anyway, I don't even know, don't ask me, I was slow. So, I just did what the supervisor said, and I went to the team that I was on the day before, and, um, and one of the girls uh at the table she was like i thought you was on um uh evil lynn team oh i'm sorry y'all for some reason my camera has stopped recording i guess it's saying you've been talking too long but um i'm almost done i'm finna wrap this uh this story time up but uh so i guess evil lynn heard her heard the like heard the girl say i thought you was on her team and um and then uh the girl and then evelyn gonna say she ain't on my team she is not on my team like with an attitude just like that and i'm and i said is what you say and, and like literally like because I, I was just fed up she was like she ain't on my team she is not on my team i said what you say and she just looked at me she ain't say nothing I said, no, nah, what you just say? Because I'm tired of you. You picking with me every motherfucking day. I don't say shit to you. I come in here. I do my work. I don't say shit to nobody. I don't bother nobody. So why the fuck you been picking with me for two weeks? If you want to fight, we can motherfucking fight right here. I promise you I said that. I'm like, I'm tired of you. And then the supervisor came and grabbed me. He like, you need to calm down. I said, no, nah, I'm, I'm new here. I, I don't say nothing to nobody. Why the fuck do she got a problem with a new person who ain't did shit to her? I I just went off. I was ready to fight. I like I was ready to fight her ass. Cause like she was like her old ass was picking with me for two fucking weeks straight. And I'm like, if you want to fight, we can fight. But I'm tired of you uh nitpicking and being messy and petty for no fucking reason. And whoever with you, it's whatever. And then um, you know, and then after that, I just walked out. Um and uh I came back. Well, actually, that wasn't my last day. Because after that, I walked out, and then I came back the next day, and then, you know, I ended up uh, quitting because I found a better job anyway, so. Because when I first got that job, 
uh, I had applied for another job and really the job that, you know, Eva Lynn was at, that, that really was my second choice anyway. And you know how like you apply for a whole bunch of jobs, but you really want this job, but this job called and so you need a job so you get that one. That's, that's basically what happened. But uh, I just, and thank God the next day I ended up uh, going to a different job anyway. Um, so... Um, yeah, I'm, I, I just thank God that I'm not, that I'm, that I don't work there no more. Like, I'm so mad, I'm stuttering, because this, the bitch really had me fucked up. Really. And y'all, I know I'm cussing, but if y'all not mature enough to handle it, then this ain't the, uh, channel for y'all. Just putting it out there. If y'all can't handle the, what I talk about and, you know, uh, my vocabulary, then this ain't the channel for y'all. Because, baby, I'm down south country this is how i talk oh uh, i'm just saying it because i keep having flashbacks about what that person commented and said anyway um but yeah y'all that's pretty much uh what happened and um i don't i don't condone violence but if somebody you know just keep messing with you like keep picking with you and just you don't know why hey do what you gotta do to make them stop i don't care like if it's but you know I just, I wasn't going to hit her unless she hit me. But I was like, you must want to fight. What you want to do? I, I was going to give her the space and opportunity to hit me so I can knock off bitch ass out. Out. You hear me? But, um, like I said, that's pretty much the end of this video, y'all. Comment down below if y'all ever had, uh, like a work, per like a work, uh, what is it called um a co-worker who was with the bullshit or have y'all ever had like a classmate who was with the bullshit or hell a family member who with the bullshit for no fucking reason comment down below let me know i want to hear y'all stories i'm nosy best believe i read them um but yeah that's the end of this video y'all comment like and subscribe follow me on all social medias and i'll see y'all in my next video